Follow the Drinking Gourd is a song that was sung by slaves. Slave masters thought they were singing to pass the time when they were actually singing to pass along a message. This song was a secret code of how to escape and travel north. The Drinking Gourd refers to the Big Dipper. If you follow that constellation, you will always travel north. The direction they needed to go to get to Canada and escape slavery. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking The old man is code for the Underground Railroad. This was a group of people who helped slaves to escape. Two very famous conductors of the Underground Railroad were Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman, both settled in the Rochester, New York area. When the sun comes back and the first quail calls, follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking gourd. When the sun comes back, this is late winter and early spring and the first quail calls. In Alabama, the quails begin their mating calls in early April. This is when the slaves should be leaving their plantations. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd. The river bank will make a mighty good road. The dead trees will show you the way. Left foot, peg foot, traveling on if you follow the drinking gourd. Riverbank will make a mighty good road. This song starts in Mobile, Alabama and starts by following the Tom Bigby River. The dead trees will show you the way. Left foot, peg foot, traveling on. Peg Leg Joe is an underground railroad legend. The symbol of a left foot and peg foot was made out of charcoal or mud on dead trees to help slaves know they are headed in the right direction. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking gourd. River ends between two hills. Follow the drinking gourd. There's another river on the other side. If you follow the drinking gourd. The river ends between two hills. The Tom Bigby River ends near the Woodall Mountains. There's another river on the other side. When you go over the hills, you will meet up with the Tennessee River. Turn to the left and follow it. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking gourd. When the 
great big river meets the little river. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking gourd. It was important for the slaves to start their truck in April so that it would be winter when they arrived at the Ohio River. This allowed them to walk across the frozen lake to safer shores. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking 